New York right now, and yeah. Natasha's standing by. Pretty nice here. It sure is. Yeah, a really nice day for us. I mean, if you're going to ask for a good traveling day, today was the day. Tomorrow, another fantastic day. Considering all the snow that we got from earlier this week, timing worked out pretty well. So we have a depth of 14 inches. That's your base depth right there at Timberline at the lodge. Look at that. That's a 6,000 feet and you still have snow right there in the parking lot. So for some locations off of the beaten path, you're still going to have snow on the roadways. But if you go to the main highways, you're looking pretty good so far over to Mountain Meadows, a base depth of 17 inches. So that's fantastic. But guess what? A temperature is going to be on the rise and that's going to change everything. Here's a look right now. Highway 26 and government camp. You can see again the roadway itself is wet. No more snow covering the roads. Willamette Pass also looking pretty good right there and over to Santee Am Pass. Everyone cruising along and my favorite view right here. McMinnville Airport over there. Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum. Love that place. And you know what? Weather is looking fantastic here. Wouldn't be surprised if we see some fog developing again late tonight through early tomorrow morning for the valley. So how about Portland? We're at 46 degrees. We're going to keep our temperature below normal today. Wind is calm. Your temperatures overnight will be in the lower 40s. OK, let's talk about your gobble gobble forecast tomorrow morning. Areas of fog turning into overcast skies. So temperatures for the morning will go from the mid 40s to the upper 40s just before noon. For your afternoon stretch, we're looking at the low 50s by 5 o'clock. We're still dry. And then we're expecting the rain to show up a little bit later in the evening. So let's talk about the timing here for that rain. Uh, a little bit later on tonight, if you're spending any time at the coast, let's say you're right around Cannon Beach or Seaside or up along the uh, Washington coastline, you will be running into some rain thanks to a pretty weak disturbance passing by. Not much of an impact for us here in Portland or the rest of the valley. The big stuff arrives for us tomorrow night right around 9 o'clock. We can see it right here. Stretched all the way from Portland out across Tillamook and Newport heading into western Washington. You're still dry eastern Oregon until we get to Friday morning. Friday morning, the majority of that rain falls and continues through most of the day until we get to the afternoon. We'll start to see that rain kind of break up and then turn mostly dry before the next round comes through. That'll be Saturday afternoon, but Saturday morning at this point looks dry. Saturday night through Sunday looks to be our point uh, where we're going to be getting a little bit of a break from the rain. We get to Sunday. Sunday appears to be our driest day overall. How much rain could we see when we add it all up? Well, for the valley, we might be looking at anywhere from a half inch to close to an inch of rain. But look at the coast. Here are some big differences. Notice the color change. So Tillamook, Astoria, uh, just under two inches, and that's decent enough on its own. But look at what happens as you get into northwest Washington. So from tonight all the way through Sunday night, upwards of seven to eight inches of rain possible. That on top of an excessive amount of rain that has already come through just in the last couple of weeks. So we're talking about the possibility of river flooding for those areas. If you're heading that direction, keep that in mind. Look at this weekend though. Temperature wise, almost 60 degrees. We could be talking about a record tie on Sunday. Wow, Dan's gonna have to get out the tank top. <laughs> oh, I would love to. I had the leg warmers out. I'm gonna put those I'm sure away. You did. Okay. Tank top's coming. <laughs> okay. Okay. Also Thanks. coming up, 50 years ago.